What's going on, everybody? Ed back with Silver Sport. We got Chuck on the line. Hey, everybody. What do you say? What do you know? Michigan State and Mississippi State has just tipped off, but we're looking at cartoons. Yeah. <laughs> yeah well, basketball's coming. Turns out I got to buy the first week in that uh, March Madness tournament, so we won't have a video for that until April 2nd, but everybody else will release theirs uh, this coming week. So... It's going to be a minute. Our I got a basketball back back there. I got to order another one, too. So, Disney Lorcana. Uh, this is pretty interesting. We went to the show uh, up here at Del Mar a couple weeks ago when Chuck was here. Um, Chuck ripped a few packs, pulled a $30 card, gave it away for $10. Uh, it, was, it was pretty interesting. I came home, told the family about it. They're like, oh, we like Disney. So... Bought a box, bought two boxes of these, ripped one, had so much fun, we ripped the second one. <laughs> and then I bought two more boxes, so we ripped a third, and then now we finally got one for the channel. So, uh, I will tell you, out of my third box that we just ripped, this is like uh, a $5 card. I think this is a $20 card, this Lucky Dime. This Robin Hood's a $30 card. This is the Ursula, the, infam the famous Ursula that, that Chuck got duped of, out of at the card show. Uh, one is $30, and the code, cold foil one is uh, $40 or $50, I think. So. Um, you say so, bro. You say so. And then the ones from my first two boxes, I posted them up on eBay, and they sold in the first day. right? I just oh. posted them up at comps, and they, and they sold right away. So I will probably are, post these up this weekend, too. Up there, yeah. They will be. Oh, I wanted to show them on video before I sold them because I didn't want them to sell too fast. So, anyway, let's jump right into this box. So, 12 cards per pack. Uh, it's a 24-pack booster box, as you can see right there. How much uh, that cost you? Now, this was uh, $110 a box, I think is what I paid for them. You can get them in several different places. They also advertise them on Amazon for $145, which made me, because I buy cards all the time, Go shopping for them. And if you just Google it, you'll find a better price uh, on Google. They'll lead you to TCG or somewhere else where you can get them for... I think uh, these boxes actually came out of Arizona, Chuck. Oh, and I forgot to put the dang chicken on it. I wish I still had Hey Hey here. I think he's the only actual Disney character we have in the arsenal. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. He's still got his lucky hat on because, well, his owner hasn't done his job. <laughs> Put some, put some luck on that Disney box. It's, so what we're looking for, oh, there's Hey Hey. What we're really looking for here is the full art cards. So pretty much any full art card is worth $70 plus. Uh, any of the, the enchanted cards that are over the numbered. And let me actually let me bring up the screen capture here. You guys have probably seen this before if you've ever you know ripped Pokemon or these kind of cards, but the set goes up to 204. As you can see right there, so you're looking for anything numbered over 204, which is enchanted, uh, secret, rare, whatever you want to call it, right? Um, but yeah, so that's what we're looking for. Any of that stuff is, they got a nice little pull tab on these, so rip them open. Get the trash. And there we go 24 packs of Disney Lorcana. I guess this is into the ink lands. I guess there's there was two. Oh, are you there, Chuck? All right, so back a little bit of technical difficulties there. All right, so Ed didn't hear me say nothing about, uh, number one, how, how do I get a team in this? And number two, uh, he said anything over 204, but like I see in the checklist, super rare and stuff, that's just different versions of the base cards. So how do you tell the difference? Uh, so it's a little thing on the, it's basically this little, uh, this little thing on the bottom here. That means legendary, I think. Um, those are all legendary. That's legendary. Those are legendary. So the legendary cards, and then this one I think just means rare. Um, but again, so in other words, not, you have I'm, no idea. I'm no expert, right? But I just look them up on the price guide <laughs> by the card number, right? You can look them up right by the card number there. Oh, geez. Uh, all right. And then there's cold foil, shiny or not shiny, right? So there's two different versions of each card. So what do you want to do, Chuck? Do you want to roll for a pack here, or what do you want to do? I don't want to roll for a pack. I want to roll for a team. Well, you can't roll for a team. I don't know how to... There's 204 cards. There's no teams in Disney, Chuck. <laughs> well, uh, 
magic broom, magic carpet. What the forbidden mountain? Oh. <laughs> See? <laughs> All right. Yeah, screw it. Go ahead, hit it. You don't want to pack? You want a random packet? Whatever 24 divided by 110 is? I mean, you'll just give it away to me for cheaper anyway. I'll just tell you it's worth $10 and you'll trade it for two more packs. So. Yeah. <laughs> Chuck, it with. It's a it's a I'm dis- checked out. Like everyone it's- like like everyone says when Chuck doesn't get a team, he looks so disinterested. You ain't seen nothing yet. Oh jeez. <laughs> We've opened Pokemon before, Chuck. You did the same thing. See, so that's like the regular common uh insignia there on the center, right? And then apparently Lieutenant there's Helga Katrina Sinclair is the secondary antagonist of the Feature film Atlantis: The Lost Empire. Oh, you're you've already moved way on. Yeah, keep, that's all right. Keep going. I guess lucky. I'll just look up your 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 fancy cards. You get any fancy there, cards yet? You don't there's, know. There's there's Lucky. He's he's a uh, rare. How do you know? And then we got a because it's the little triangle thing there on the bottom center of the card. Oh, see that? And then Bell's house is also rare. And we got a cold foil of Jim Hawkins. That's actually a good one. I don't know if it's the right card of his, though. I'd have to look it up real quick. Let me see. What's the card number? 110. 110 what? You got to give me all the extra crap on there. Oh, no. This one is Thrill Seeker. It's, yeah, Thrill Seeker. 110 is not worth anything. It's three cents. So, but I didn't look it up by gold foil. So. EN3? Yeah, it's not going to be worth anything. So, but yeah. I don't know. (laughs) <laughs> you haven't figured it out, Chuck? No, I mean... I mean, I got it up on TCG Player, and you should be able to sort it by card number, and it just goes by 109 of 204 or whatever, in order. Yeah, but doesn't that extra stuff on the bottom mean something, too? Uh, Not really. Not that I've noticed. You, not, you can just look them up straight by the, straight by the card number. Mr. Snoops. Sorcerer's Tower. I might have to try and figure out how to play this game. I got like three boxes of the base cards now, so <laughs> John Silver. Greedy Treasure Seeker. I don't think I've pulled that one before. 176. Maui the Whale. And a Jolly Roger, which is gonna be just an uncommon, I think is what that insignia means. But Captain Hook's ship. It's kinda cool. We'll look all those those uh, shiny ones up later. Looking for something numbered higher than 204, Chuck. That's what a real yeah. boy really are they to. are they numbered higher than 204? I don't Yeah, I've pulled one already. I showed it on the channel before, but it's basically numbered 205 of 204 or whatever, right? 206 of 204. Just like Pokemon. It's just like Pokemon. <laughs> King Louie. Chuck, we're, we're opening Disney. I'm going to need you to keep it clean. Right? Clint <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hart. Long, cold, little John. Yeah. See, here's a Robin Hood fancy one that sold for $36. Uh-huh. But it's numbered 190 of 204. Yeah, not all. There are some under 204 that are worth money. That's what I just showed the five cards I got right here. Matter of fact, that Robin Hood might be one I have. Didn't I have one? Yeah, there's a Robin Hood right there. 190, the exact one you talked about, Chuck. (laughs) There's nothing on eBay with a number higher than 204. Oh, you're looking it up on eBay by sold, I see. Yeah, you could just... uh, I think you could look it up by the Scrooge McDuck. And there's your magic broom. Put it in my box. I called it. <laughs> you did call the magic broom. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's a Bell's House 219. Yeah. Uh, okay. Robin At Hood, the start of your it. turn, gain lore equal to the lore value on the locations you have in play. Note, this is not questing, which only characters can do. During your turn, you can move one of your characters to one of your locations by paying the location's move cost. Your characters can only move. He gone. <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey, buddy! There you go! Hey, hey. 
<laughs> you only see one half of him though. Is better. Like that? There you go. <laughs> there he is. Oh jeez. Motuni, Nala, Lion King, Aurelian Gyro Sensor. Oh, we got a legendary. Oh, it is there. It is Chuck. Another Robin Hood. Oh, I called it. Put it in my box. Uh, is that the same one? It is. So that is also worth a few bucks. What'd you say it was? Thirty bucks? I don't know. You, you know. <laughs> oh, and Helga Sinclair, but that's a common. But it is the cold foil shimmy shine. How can you tell? Because uh, I'm looking at them, Chuck. <laughs> There's a shimmy she It's just like Pokemon. I don't know. I don't know why you're so confused. Like, like you're brand new, Chuck. <laughs> Holy cow! Ro that Robin Hood's old. Oh no, 221 of 204 Robin Hood. You don't have that one. No, that's the that's the full art uh, enchanted one. Yeah, it's crazy. Thirty three dollars and forty seven cents at fourteen bids yesterday. That Robin yeah, Hood. yeah. And I'll have two of them up on eBay this weekend and pay uh, basically pay for. So so far, I've caught caught it. $30 card, and like I said, that third box, I basically paid for all of it if all those cards sell it at Bang River City, if they sell it. Uh... Oh, there's Ursula. 59, the Sea Witch. And we got a common Captain Hook's Repeer. Oh, there's the directions I was reading, how to play the game. I don't know if Ursula's worth anything. Let's see. 59. No, this one's not worth anything, but it's cool anyway. Must be, I think it's, uh, you know, a mix between what, how powerful they are in the game and all that stuff, right? But For those of you wondering at home, Michigan, number nine, Michigan State is up 20 to eight on number eight, Mississippi State. Oh, but it's not over. Uh, Ten minutes left in the first. And then along came Zeus. Shenzi. And a common... Hollow foil. Who's Shenzi? Joshua Sweet. He looks like one of the wolves from uh, Lion King. Uh, Shenzhen is in South, a city in southeastern China. Well, there it's you modern go. Modern metropolis that links Hong Kong to China's mainland. <laughs> it's known for its shopping destinations, including Luhu Commercial City, a massive mall and a vast array of wares, from tailors, customs, clothing to faux designer bags. Nice fact, Mr. Mr. Smee. Who's Mr. Smee? Mr. Smee. Mr. Smee is, uh, serves as Captain Hook's boatsman. There you go. <laughs> wow, he's Mr. Fish Hook. Smee. Oh, it's another Robin Hood. Is that one any good? 84? That, that looks like a different one. Mr. Smee seems an oddly genial man for a pirate. That one is not. We've got another one here. He's, he's Irish. Oh, so happy St. Patrick's Day, uh, Mr. Smee. The only nonconformist among Captain Hook's crew. A, and quote, a man who stabbed without offense. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> Mr. Smee. Kit Cloud Kicker. Miss Bianca. Oh, who's Miss Bianca? I don't know. Genie? Friend like me? That's the genie. You ain't never had a friend like me. <laughs> Miss Bianca from 1977, The Rescuers. She works as the Hungarian ambassador for the Rescue Aid Society in New York City and is the partner, love interest, and eventual wife of Bernard. Oh. Miss Bianca. Miss Bianca. Eeyore. There we go. <laughs> that with reminds me of you, Chuck. Eeyore. <laughs> with this nonsense. Eeyore, Eeyore. Oh, are you done with this yet? It's Last awesome. pack mojo something? <laughs> Chuck, we're like one third of the way through. I want to need you to, like, give me some Disney facts. What's what have I been doing? <laughs> I've been telling you whose cards you're pulling. You don't even know what you're looking at. Friar Tuck, I know who that is, Chuck. You there? Yeah, okay. I mean, even even the dang universe don't want us <laughs> recording this video. Map of Treasure Planet. 
and Captain Hook 105 and a Starlight Veil cold foil. See the difference? Veil or vile? Yeah, that one too. Starlight Vial and Captain Better? Hook. Ugh. Yeah, I'm here. Okay. All right. We just can't stop having some technical difficulties today, but we're going to get through it. <laughs> Good Lord Almighty. Yeah, going to pull this uh, big hollow foil. Chuck sounds better, though. You do sound better, buddy. Stitch. Yeah, I think uh, the new combination and uh, the uh, allergy cocktail that I take every six hours. Yeah. Here it's going around. I know a lot of people commented that. Yeah, I think some... I'm going to order one of those uh, Nuvage pots. Try to, you know, into the nose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Give yourself an enema of the nose. Yeah. Is that what that is? Alice. And a foil, Rise of the Titans. All right. So again, you keep saying I should figure out how to play this game because I got all these boxes, but you keep throwing away all the instruction cards. Yeah. <laughs> well, Chuck, that's pretty standard around here. Ba boom <laughs> Peter Pan. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> these are all the common ones. Cleansing rainwater, Chuck. Can you play this character? Why don't you read one of these cards? Okay, hold on. Mr. Smee, at the end of your turn, if this character is exerted and you don't have a captain character in play, deal one damage to this character. Catch those little... Ouch! <laughs> you said we were gonna... We were in this together. Elgar, Elga Sinclair. Ariel. And a common patch. Dalmatian on the foil. Okay. Yeah. I'm just trying to... I'm looking for the big hitters, Chuck. I see that. <laughs> Mississippi State mounting a comeback. It is now 27-18. Uh, oh, as predicted, right? What, what's Spartans, the spread? Uh, oh, I don't know. Jim Hawkins. Jet Sam. Who's Jet Sam? I don't care. It ain't worth money. No. I don't care. I don't know. He looks like one of those evil guys. Louis! <laughs> Delicious. Uh, Float Sam and Jet Sam are the antagonists of the Little Mermaid. The sinister. What? They are a sinister pair of moray eels. Oh, you know who that guy is? Baloo? Oh, yeah. Oh, we got a legendary. Oh, there it is, Chuck! Bang, bang! Ursula gang! <laughs> Every time and, you're going to Ursula me, ain't you? And another Ariel. Uh, that is not the foil version. That is just the regular version. So that's a $30 card, though. There you Plus go. Plus the Robin Hood. That's already $60 worth of cards we pulled out of this $110 box, Chuck. So I've been using some of my free time. You know, I got my, my spreadsheets now of my bindered and displayed cards and my spreadsheet of my box uh, bears cards. Uh, I'm in the process of moving 189 Justin Fields cards from uh, from my binder to my box. Oh. Yeah. In a special row for sale later? Yeah. You know, if anybody's <laughs> looking to jumpstart a Justin, any Steelers fans looking to jumpstart a Justin Fields collection, I do have a lot in his, uh, in his college unis, so, you know, you don't have to have uh, Bears colors in your binder. Oh, yeah. Heart of the titty. <laughs> Heart of Tefiti, Chuck. I remember oh. Disney were ripping, Chuck. Disney. <laughs> I can't. God. It's all blurry, man. I can't. I that's, <coughs> that's the other one I had that turned out to be worth, I think that's worth five bucks. So, oh, and Minnie Mouse, but it's a foil, but it's common. So that's unfortunate. Yeah. We need a full art Ursula. So, a full art Ursula is worth like 400 bucks. Full Art Ursula. Yeah. I don't know you, if they call it full art. Are you guaranteed one per box? or No, no. No, it's, I think they're, they're, they're more like one per case type of thing. In these, in these uh, booster boxes. Now, there's different, you know, like Pokemon, you could buy booster boxes. You could buy the, 
the sets that come with the dice and all, and all that stuff, uh, and the sleeves. I, I see nothing on eBay when I search full art. Oh, Mufasa. No, because cause that's a Pokemon term. So, the Enchanted, Chuck. Well, is come on, enchanted. man. Get... Enchanted is the term. I'm sorry. Like, I, 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 I didn't realize that my Pokemon uh, and, and playing cards knowledge was, was too high for your level of understanding. Okay. Because <laughs> I have none. Oh! Where did you go? Right, we're gonna keep moving. Oh, you Little there? John. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Little John, that's right. That was pretty good. <laughs> oh, last last that's where I'm at with these Disney cards. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well played, sir. Well played. And as you can see, there's a little reflection on my cases in the back. Uh, it is that time. It's getting to be summertime again. I gotta go. I gotta get this. Those, those windows tinted. I'm going to get those windows tinted. Block out that sunshine. Magic broom! Why are you putting all the magic brooms in my box? I'll sort through them later and we'll do that, Chuck. <laughs> Ursula! There you go. That one's that, for Chuck. That trick going to be haunting my dreams. <laughs> Peter Pan. Disney, Chuck. Disney! I can't say tricks and... Like, uh, Peter Pan 82... On the rare, I don't know what that is. Yeah, so it looks like the enchanted, no. even it, they look the same, but even where the words are in that box on the bottom, that's all shiny too. Oh, yeah, right. Like full art, like it's it's shiny. The whole card is shiny, not just the picture at the top. No, see, again, this is where you trying to talk down to me, <laughs> you're making yourself look stupid. Yeah. I think that's what they call it in Pokemon, Chuck. Again, I'm not very smart full about art, it. Full art means the card is a full art. You don't have that text box on the bottom. Yeah, and I think so that's what it is. So saying full art. It, you're the one who's wrong, and you're uh, not going to be able to tell me otherwise. Oh, I'm sorry if my Pokemon knowledge doesn't translate <laughs> to your low level of thinking. <laughs> no, you're wrong, my friend. You're wrong. Okay, Chuck. Let us so know maybe... in the comments. Who's right and who's wrong here? So maybe it's the opposite. Uh, your Pokemon knowledge is... The is, boss uh... is on a roll. I tell you what. <laughs> Madame Medusa about to turn him to stone, though. Madame Medusa? What the boss. Finding love will... Hey, I'm trying to read oh. that. Oh. Finding love will be as easy as taking candy from children. See, oh, why geez. Disney got to put that in there? That, <laughs> the creepy-ass Disney and Nickelodeon, <laughs> I tell you what. And there is a rare hollow friend like me. Or Oh, you got some porn foil. in your What? Is that what it said on the bottom? What did you say? What does it say you, on the bottom? You got some power in your corner now. Oh, there you go. All right. <laughs> All right, last stack, Chuck. Woo! <laughs> 24 Last packs. Stack. I'm getting into it now. <laughs> 24 packs for 100 bucks feels pretty good, Chuck. Like, <laughs> oh, okay. Especially when I already pulled 50% of my box price back in, in cards and I still got a whole stack to go. Yeah. Magic Broom. 99 puppies. <laughs> but a bitch ain't one. <laughs> Chuck. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Disney, Chuck. Disney. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, that's a female dog, and there's 99 puppies. Yeah, look, Chuck. <laughs> uh, Gustav the Giant? RLS Legacy. IRS Legacy? You want to tell the world about your IRS Legacy? And there he is, a, a shiny Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put that in Chuck's box. <laughs> I need an Eeyore uh, animal now, Chuck. I'm going to need uh, an Eeyore. I do have a little donkey collection going, though, let's be real. So uh, I could use an Eeyore that, that makes some noise and dances. There he is again. God, we can't get away from him, Chuck. What's, it, what's, his, what's his quote on the bottom there? Uh, not much of a roadblock, but I suppose I'll do. <laughs> Why are they using his fat behind as a roadblock? He's See, blocking it ain't the bridge. Eeyore's problem. It's the world, man. The he's world just keeping him down. 
You're just a bridge blocker, dude. Sit your ass down. <laughs> Fatty. No, yeah. Chuck. See, me and you are, buddy. Chuck. Rufus. Look how fast it... Ooh, get it. Who is that? <laughs> Chuck. Nani. Look, look how fast he's going through these cards now, folks. Dive bomb. Morph. Sheriff of Nottingham. And a Pluto shiny. That, that's a good looking card. Look at the good little all regal. good picture there. Looking all yeah. regal. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, a few more packs to go. Looking for that little legendary symbol on the back there. Really bones. Zazu. So, are these in any kind of order in the packs? Like it's all commons and then. Yeah, I think so. That's ge it's generally, yeah, just like. Pokemon where it's like the front is all the base cards or you know different playing cards but the common cards then it gets uncommon as it goes through Dewey's uncommon Simba rare if I'm using the right terminology which I'm probably not I'm sure Chuck will correct me uh the lamp and then we got a common 99 puppies with the shiny shine <laughs> I got I got Got 99 puppies. <laughs> Minnie Mouse. Was I quoting the lyric correct? Was that was that at least right there? Uh, you, you 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 were close, Chuck. But I don't I don't know what. Uh, <laughs> I don't think puppies was the terminology. Oh, I think it was problems. Oh. <laughs> like, <laughs> Minnie Mouse on the rare and piglet and a common. Cubby with the foil. All right. All right. We need some. I mean, we, we haven't done bad already, so it's already kind of a win. You know, in our world, 50% back on a box is doing pretty solid. So. Absolutely. <laughs> but I'm hoping for a little, little bang here at the end. Magic carpet again. There's about 16 of those. Captain Hooks repair again. Now he's place of exile. On your feet now, action, and a repair shiny card. Yeah, you haven't gotten any Scrooge McDucks, huh? Uh, I did. I had one, but I think it was a common. Oh. I don't want to open. Come on, big money, no whammies. Sir Hiss. Uh, okay, it's a it's a ball game. Twenty nine, twenty four. 10 seconds left in the first half. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Little John again. Cursed Merfolk, and my stack just fell over here. You're some cursed Merfolk. Boy, I oh, tell you what. There's a legendary oh. Jafar. What's he? Card number 42. Cursed Mofo. Uh, $15 on the Jafar. Put him uh, over where here are you getting these, this money from? Uh, the TCG database. Oh, and Friar Tuck. I got the TCG database up here. I, sh I showed it to you before, Chuck. Here, I, I showed it to everybody else too, just so they could see. There he is, card number 42. Wait, yeah. Card number 42, Jafar, Striking Illusion. Illusionist, $15. Foil card? It's not a foil. Yeah, see, the foil I see selling for that much. The other well, Jafars I see going for a dollar twenty-six. I don't think you know what you're talking about, dude. Well, I'm just going off the TCG thing here because it's easy, Chuck. Like instead of looking every individual card up on eBay, so I mean, it, there's right. some, some variance for sure. But uh, and then I will say, the newer the set, like any set, even in football, the newer the set, the more the cards are worth, and they go down over time. The more that they come out and people sell them, right, and everybody gets what they want. So, all right, Skippy. Supply and demand, Chuck. Supply and demand. King Louie. That looked like Ed. Yeah. Where we well, used to vacation in Cancun. Yeah. Robin's bow. <laughs> and a Huey. The rare. Savvy nephew. Stratos. And a common magic carpet with the foil. For... Oh, yeah. Last pack! Come on, We baby. did it! Last pack, Mojo. <laughs> All three of you who are still sitting here watching this. Yeah. So I don't know. Uh, I, 
I'll continue ripping this probably because we had fun with it at the house and I'll probably, you know, and they're, like I said, they're relatively cheap. It's fun to rip packs. Me and Brandon used to like to rip Pokemon. And since the wife likes this too, we can all three rip them. So yeah, there you go. I'll be interested yeah, when the new set comes out. That's what we do. We, you know, we rip sumo here. We all like, enjoy watching sumo. Yeah. Uh, quick patch. Hey, hey, again. Hey! How far I'll go. Thaddeus Part of Atlantis. E. Clang. Who's Thaddeus E. Clang? Uh, Thaddeus E. Clang is, is the metallic leader. Oh, of what? I don't know. Storyhorn, storyborn villain. Thaddeus E. Clang. Tailspin, leader of a cult-like organization seeking the secret weapon hidden in the lost city of Tinnabula. Oh. All right. Yeah. Thanks, right, so, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> so we did pull an Ursula. I mean, Chuck of Luck's course. still coming through. So we got the Jafar, which I think we said was worth a little bit. And then we got the this Queen's Castle, I think it's five bucks. Ursula, 30 bucks. And a Robin Hood, 30 bucks. So, 45, oh, $75? Uh, it's better than 100 uh, You know, and after eBay sales, it's about 50% after eBay fees. It's probably 50% uh, back. All Not right. too shabby. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so we got for our, through our first Disney box. Tell us what you guys think. Uh, you know, PG-13 didn't work out so well, but we'll try it better next time. He always blames <laughs> me for everything. Thanks, everybody. And we're out.